What's up everybody? Welcome to Sunnyside TV and I'm very excited to do a let's play here on the channel. This is a first of its kind because I haven't done something like this in a long time. I mean, we're talking a lot of months, but I'm excited because I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to be showcasing it, showing my love for Stranger Things 3 as I do like this show a lot. I've pretty much been watched it with my wife in like a weekend so excited to finally give this a shot i've played a little bit kind of got past the tutorial i think i'm still kind of in the tutorial phase but we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this and I, if you guys haven't already please check out the flannel fox throwing him a little love he did a review on this game and he did an awesome job i know a couple of my colleagues who have been streaming this and they have been absolutely like enjoying it and they've given it good reviews so i'm definitely excited to see all the hype to play a little stranger things 3 here and uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. So let's jump into this. What happened to Lucas? He is not following me right now. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go at it alone, me and Dustin. We're going to go to the weather top. Now, I'm definitely going to talk a little bit about the show. Uh, I won't give any spoilers outside of what is in the presence. So we'll go ahead and just, if I hopefully I don't give you guys any spoilers. But let's just straight jump straight into this. Guys, someone trashed the Cerebro. Now I'll never be able to call my girlfriend. Wait, you wanted to show us this? So you could call your girlfriend? Yeah, Susie was going to be a surprise. We need to find the missing parts. Come on, I bet they're nearby. I can't do a Dustin voice or anybody's voices, but I'm going to go ahead and narrate it as best as I can. Looks like we're blocked by these boulders. Leave it to me. If I use my special ability, I can destroy these rocks. Each character has a unique special ability that can be used to combat or to further explore Hawkins. Activate your special ability with the X. Abilities require energy. Energy can be restored by collecting whatever that is, blue stuff, or by drinking a Coke. All right, sweet. So we got to use the soda machine in the shack. All right. Thank you, Lucas, for that nugget. So let's go ahead and change characters. As you guys can see, I am still trying to <laughs> figure out. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. There it is, baby. You found a Coke. Restore your energy. All right. So I have not made it this far. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my goodness. How do I block again? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, no. Why isn't Lucas helping me? I'm totally on my own right now. Oh, my God. So these guys are... Oh! There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got him down. What are all these scary guys doing hanging out on Weathertop? Mike goes, no idea. We've been spending most of our time at Starcourt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little, a little more sissier voice from Mike just because he's is the D&D &D guy, right? How do I get him to follow me? Come here, Mike. Come bring that baseball bat. There you go, buddy. Okay, so I had the buttons wrong. I found a p up some wire spools in the... Oh, Mike! Oh, Mike is so brave. Look at him. Can he take damage? That's the question of the day. So if you guys don't realize it, I'm, I'm playing with Dustin because I think the hairspray is absolutely cool. <laughs> I'm totally into the hairspray. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Oh my goodness, we gotta find the cerebro parts in here. Now I don't remember having to find oh guys, there's a room down here. Wait, how long has this been here? Dunno. This is the first time we've ever been here too. Oh shoot. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Dustin is er I'm sorry, Mike is putting in work over there. There it is. So I wanted to get my wife to play this, but she wasn't feeling too good. So fortunately going at this alone. But let me go ahead and give this game a shout out. Two players on this would be absolutely bonkers, insane fun. And this is definitely one of those games where if you if you wanted to play this and you, you let's say you were playing with somebody like, for instance, my wife who doesn't know how to play video games very much, but they're totally into the show. This is a good way to kind of get somebody into this game who's not too familiar with the show and watch them just enjoy playing it because they're going to see a lot of the story parts here. 
You found a gnome. Someone in Hawkins is looking for all 50 of them. View the items in your journal. Who's looking for some... It's like we're digging a tunnel. Oh, that's weird. Guys, we need to focus. Cerebro's parts are obviously not down here. We can poke around more later. Come on. So he really wants to find his girlfriend. <laughs> he really wants to talk to her. This requires bolt cutters. Uh-oh. So is this not where I'm supposed to go? See, this is kind of my worry, unfortunately. Kind of going through this and not knowing where I'm supposed to go. So we're going to go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Hopefully we can find these parts. I like how <laughs> I like how I can destroy like anything. There ain't nobody that spies like us. Oh. Ooh, we got another direction over here. Okay, I bet they're over here. Ooh, oh. Oh. Ooh, I didn't mean to switch. I've been doing a good job of not getting hit so far. I don't think I've gotten hit once, including the tutorial. But uh, I did. I do want to acknowledge that I put the difficulty on the second tier. I didn't put it on the hardest tier. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. It's almost ha overpowered to have the... Uh oh, shoot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and I just talked about not getting hit. And there it is. Got completely whacked. Guys, this is one of the missing parts. We're one step cl closer to calling Susie. One step closer to going home. <laughs> Come on, let's keep looking. <laughs> so, so, uh. Oh, shoot. Let's change this up a little bit. So, so, homie really wants to go home. He, like, he's done. He's like, hurry up. I get the feeling these guys weren't from around here. Well, duh, it's a small town. So these must be the Russians, right? You guys don't know the Russians. I, th I think in the show, okay, should I give a spoiler here or not? See, and that's the thing. I don't know what I'm allowed to do here in terms of giving spoilers. But as we know, there's Russians. <gasps> what happened? No, 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 no. How do I... I thought Mike had the bombs. All right, let's see if we can change it. Oh, no, it was Lucas who has the bombs, right? No, it still says robot. There it is. Okay, so I just had to switch it around a little bit. So let me switch this back. Actually, I'm just going to swip switch to... Let's just see what happens with Lucas being our, our wingman. So he's just attacking from ranged. Yeah, it's better to have Mike, I think. So let me swap. Let me switch to Mike. Oh, boy. There it is. Okay, because he's more of like a tanky character. He kind of gets in there. And he kind of blocks them off a little bit. So that'll keep me a bit more safe. See how he blocked them off? Perfect. But anyways, like I was saying, I don't know if I want to give spoilers away, but... I know that the Russians do infiltrate. Ooh. Got it. They do infiltrate the town, and we don't know why. So I guess that's not much of a spoiler, right? So hopefully next season, because I remember the season finishing, and we were like, well, I never understood. But, and you'll find out right away when you, if you guys watch the show, and if you haven't watched it, You'll find out right away that the Russians are involved. It's literally, I think, in the very first scene of the of season three. Oh, there you go. All right, there we go. We got him down. Perfect. Why in the world is there a radio out here? Maybe someone's trying to contact their girlfriend. <laughs> Touche. Touche, Lucas. Touche. Ooh. Can we mess with the radio? Sounds a busy. Okay, let's keep listening. You hear the occasional chair scraping on the floor. Sounds of a busy mall are coming from the radio. Let's change the frequency. Anything else? Paper rustles and phones are answered, but you can't make out what's being said. Static crackles softly. Garbled sounds fade and occasionally. Static crackles softly. 
Sons of a busy. Oh, okay. That's it. I wanted to see if we can get the message that we get in the show. But I don't want to address that just yet. Let's keep going forward. So we're one out of three still. I didn't find a part in that one uh, box. Oh, that's weird. So, oh, another puzzle. So I'm definitely digging this right now. I'm liking that. Uh, Oh, here we go. I was a little worried that I was going to be dealing with too many puzzles, and I like how there's a lot more action right now. So what do you guys even want with my radio? Maybe they're aliens in disguise. What? Yeah, and they need to, they need the parts so they can phone home. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, my goodness, an E.T. reference. Oh, jeez. All right, let me see if I can switch this up. All right. Hit him with the bomb. There it is. Seamless. I like it. I like it. Pick up another med kit. I don't see me dying, man. I'm getting all sorts of, like, health and soda and all sorts of good stuff. I like in the show how Lucas, at some point, he, like, grabs a Coke. And they literally focus on the Coke. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, oh, my God, this is total product placement. And I thought that was hilarious. So it's funny how we're now seeing Coke here as the the R button. And that's hilarious to me. So we got a little bit more product placement happening. But that's kudos to fitting that. Hopefully they're getting a little cut from that. All right. Let's see if we can find this exit. Oh, here we go. We got some more baddies. Oh, Mike. Get in there, Mike. He's letting me solo this whole thing. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay, this has got to give me one of the parts, right? There it is. Parts two out of three, almost. Oh, yo, those rats are sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. They are so good at getting you. Mike is putting in work, though. See, they hit me again. Got to destroy the garbage pile. That's where they're coming from. There it is. They're gone. Nice. Ooh, are we out of dead ends now? Because we're still at two out of three. Unless, did I miss something in that one spot with the one box? Uh-oh. I don't think there's any more. Oh, no, there's a different way over here. Okay. So let me switch this up again. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I seem to do that a lot. B-A-X. Y A Y. Oh no, nothing, no parts. Ooh, all right. Hmm. So let me backtrack to that one spot I was at. Maybe I missed it. No. Hmm. So now I am completely lost here. Let me look at the map. See if we can figure out which way we got to go. As you guys can see, this is a fresh playthrough. <laughs> All right, let me take a look at the map. See if we can figure this out. So we do have a lot of things we can craft, which is excellent. Protective glass, evil eye, fist spikes. Sweet. So have we explored everything? From my vantage, it looks like we've explored mostly. Oh, is there a spot over there? Oh, okay. So there it is. By the way, kudos for the map. The map's awesome. To kind of get like that 3D map. Sometimes you just get like, you know, the little radars and then you kind of have like, but that's like really cool. I like how they did the map there. And I don't know if I've gone this way. Ooh, we got more baddies. All right. Oh, man. I don't know what button I just pressed. Something cool happened. All right, he's down. Sweet. Oh, we got another locked gate. This requires bolt cutters. We're going to have to remember that. So one aspect of this game that I am definitely digging to is kind of the open world nature of it. And there is an open world nature to it. Now, it's not super, super huge. You're, you're basically just exploring a town. But I like how you kind of have freedom to kind of travel where you want to go. There's just the boxes of jeans and magazines here. Why in the world would someone need this many pairs of jeans? <laughs> Oh, this is looking rough. I like french fries as much as the next guy, but that's crazy. 
Yo, the Russians like their french fries, right? I'm not sure what these rags are used for. So, do we hit another dead end? Let me take a look at the map. Ooh. I'm wondering, I see a gate down there. I'm wondering if I missed that. How do you get to that spot down there? Hmm. I'm wondering if I had to go into that little area. It looks like it. So we're going to have to backtrack all the way now. So let's go ahead and do it. But I got to say, though, the games, I think one of the things that we can kind of sit here and look at, and that's one of the reasons why I did want my wife to play, but she she pointed out that when she first saw the game, she didn't uh, she didn't care for the graphics. She thought, oh, what is this looks like something from, you know, from the past, you know, and there's a certain ch I don't know, man, I'm like into the retro retro stuff. And I know a lot of people are. But hopefully if you're on the fence about this game, if you're watching it, if you've watched this far in this video, don't let something like that deter you. This has been an excellent game. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot happening here. There's crafting and the action's awesome. The combat's awesome. I like the blocking system. So there's definitely a lot of cool, neat things here. And I like that more than anything. It ties really well into the show. And I don't know if I can go this way. It looked like to me there was like a secret path. But maybe not. Ooh. All right. So let me go down into the middle. Oh, wait. Is this the way? No. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back into the middle. I think there was a gra the there was a fence part that I hadn't reached yet. So we're gonna see if that's the way. Because right now, according to this, I pretty much have hit every spot, with the exception of some bolt cutter areas. And I know I've been up there. So let's go ahead and reach backtrack again. Worst case, I'll just stop the video and resume it and try to find the uh, the third spot so you guys can kind of get an accurate picture of where this stuff is if you're looking to do your own playthrough as well. So let me check out this gate. If there's nothing here, I'll go ahead and stop the video and we'll just resume once I find it. So there's nothing here. All right, so let me go ahead and stop it. Let me find it, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I figured out through the map where I needed to go. I haven't moved an inch. I just sat back and decided to pay attention just a little bit harder and realized that I missed a whole little part right there. Very sneaky. But let's go ahead and grab this third part. I'm assuming it's here because there's nothing left for me to explore see hit that can we go through oh no we still got to blow it up block deflects a great deal of incoming damage and grants a counter block boost activated with b but hold too long you will get stunned so i have been blocking like a champ for a while now so i know all about the block action there it is we found our third part perfect you're certainly going through a lot of trouble to pretend you have a girlfriend dustin I'm not making her up. Come on, let's hurry back to Cerebro so, and I'll prove it to you. All right, so let's see if we can prove it. Let's see if I can show everybody I got a lovely, beautiful, gorgeous girlfriend that nobody wants to believe because I'm such a handsome devil in Dustin. All right, give me a minute to fix Cerebro up and we can call Susie. At least I can sit down while you do this. Susie. Susie, do you read me? How much longer is this going to take? I've got to get home soon. Give me a few more minutes. Come in, Susie. This is Dustin. Do you read me? I'm heading home. Come on, Mike. Enjoy talking to your invisible girlfriend. Oh, whatever, Mr. D&D. &D. <laughs> Guys, wait up. Oh, man. So no luck contacting my lovely, beautiful girlfriend. Radar complete. This is the Russian transmission I record. Must be important. I have to tell Steve about this. Whatever, man. 
I can't deal with your spy games right now. I've got a date with Eleven. Seriously? Hold on, idiots. Where did Will go? Let's go look for him back at your house first, Mike. All right, so we lost Will. I better head home and get ready for Billy. Am I really doing this? So if you guys don't know, Billy offered her a... What was that? Oh, shoot. I got to get out of the way here. Let me... Let me throw... Let me hide myself for a second. What the heck was that? That thing came out of nowhere. Now I'm stuck out here. What's that noise? Who's there? Let go of me. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we are. Chapter two, the mall rats. Oh, we got Will over here. Good, you're all here. I have my camping, my campaign all ready for you. Sorry, I can't, I promised uh, Eleven I'd come by the cabin. No time. I have to find Steve and tell him about this transmission. Yeah, maybe later, Will. Okay, whatever. Okay, Mike, your sister Nancy was looking for you. She's at the Hawkins Post in Hawkins Square. All right, new break. New quest break in. All right, so 100% don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but that is the fun here. So I'm guessing I'm going to the mall. Talk to Robin at Scoops Ahoy. Get a new hair dryer and melt. That was actually a side quest. So let me take a look at the map real quick. I think we're just trying to find an exit. Yep, so let's go in this direction. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you're new to stranger things or the game just itself there is a little bit of an open world here you can actually visit pretty much i think all these houses right let me see can i just go in this house yep pretty much see so you're pretty much what you see on the map you can go to now it's not a huge open world but still a lot more freedom than i ever expected a game like this to give you so that is excellent so we're going to actually go to uh, Hawkins Square? Is that right? Is that where I want to go? Why did I think the mall? I know I have a side quest at the mall, but let's see if we got to go here. Talk to Robin and Scoops Ahoy. All right. Nope. This isn't it. Okay. So we're, we're going to do the side quest, I guess. So we got to buy some hair dryer. So we're, this is just a side quest. Gives us a chance to take a look at a side quest and see how that goes. Mr. Melvald, do you sell hair dryers? I got a great one right here. So we need a hair dryer? Ten bucks. Oh man. Let's go get this hair dryer turned in. Because I just gave up ten bucks and I am broke. As you know, thirteen year old kids <laughs> giving up ten bucks is a lot of money. Okay, so Oh, shoot. Where do I go to turn this in? I think it's at Hawkins Square. I think we got to go to the pool, right? I am completely confused. The game doesn't isn't telling me exactly where to go, so we might have to see if we can figure this out. Oh, here are the story missions, the errands. Talk to Robin. Oh, this was all part of the Revenge of the Geeks, so we have to talk to... Okay. So we're going to go to, I like how he, uh, he opens up his mouth every time he shoots the hair dryer. It's hilarious. Or the uh, hairspray, I should say. All right, let's do this. This is a side quest. So we are not doing the main quest. I'm a little, little lost on that one, but let's see what happens for completing a side quest. Hopefully, at the minimum, we get our 10 bucks back. Oh, is this a made quest? No, nope, never mind. I have big news. Big. All right, then let's hear it. I intercepted a secret Russian communication. 
A what? A secret Russian communication. Help me translate it and we can become true American heroes. Sounds like you two could use my help. Oh, hey, Robin, you speak Russian? No, but I speak four languages and my ears are geniuses. Okay, guys, start listening to the messages I recorded on this boombox. We will get to get a book to help translate. Did I say boombox? I don't think that's what it said, but all right, right away, sir. Huh. All right, so now updated code breakers. Talk to Robin. Hey, guys, what's up? Something wrong as usual? It's Billy's idiot friend, Chet. He's extorting us for a free shake. He also says you guys look dumb. Oh, did he? I have an idea. Let's make him a special shake. Get me ultra lax from Melvelds and find me a shake mix in the back of the store. I think we have one packet left. Probably fell from some of the boxes. Okay. So, I don't know what happened to this hair dryer. Aren't we in the back of Scoops Ahoy right now? Oh, we already got the shaker mix. Okay, I was going to say. Sweet. We got ice cream. Wait, ice cream. What was that? Ice cream spoon? <laughs> I'm hair spraying the, uh, the milkshakes. All right. So we got to get, we got to go right back to Melvald's, even though I was just there with the hair dryer. So that is tough stuff, but let's go ahead and go back. Hopefully we have enough money. If we don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I literally will have no idea. We're going to have to figure this out. Sir, I need some. You look nervous, kids. What do you need? Just spit it out. I've heard it all. A bottle of Ultralax, please. Seriously, what do you want a bottle of Ultralax for? To eat for the bathroom. It's not for us. It's for my mom. Sure it is. I stopped selling Ultralax a while back. Too many complaints. But I think I have a bottle in the storeroom. Clear the rats out, and it's yours. Here's the key. All right, so now, man, got to figure out. Wait, I thought I just got the key. Did he not? Did he not give me the key? Uh oh. Okay, let's see if we can get out grant access to the storage room. Oh, okay. So maybe it's behind him. So maybe we got to go to the back here. Apparently, we're just trashing the store. He, Mr. Melvall, doesn't care. Okay, there we go. I like how every door th is like this really cool electronic door from like the 80s. <laughs> Seems a little awkward, but I like it. Ooh. We need to have a uh, good old Mike in here with his baseball bat. Ooh, we definitely took some damage there. Perfect. So here's the Ultralax pills. Well done, well done. Can we get in here? Requires bolt cutters. All right. So we're definitely going to need these bolt cutters. Give the ultra lax to Robin. Give the share mix to Robin. Do we have to buy share mix? Let's see real quick. Knee pads, bike helmet. Uh, sneakers, oven mitt. No, I don't see share mix. Let me make sure. Let me check my inventory real quick. Oh, shake mix. My bad. Why am I saying share mix? So let's take the shake mix and ultra lax and let's see where we go from there. So I got to say, love the music of the game. Loving it. Has that Stranger Things 3 feel. I love it. Love, love the characters. Love how... You have these little side quests that are like tying into the movie. Um, I remember being told that uh, 
that w we weren't allowed to show footage of this game until it released, which is funny because because uh, it said that a lot of the stuff tied into the movie. So definitely see that and glad I, I've waited for sure. Um, really enjoyed the show. And to see all the characters here, Robin and is cool to see. We got Steve here. Steve, one of my favorite characters. He, he was such a jerk in season one, man. The library in Hawkins Squares, if that's where you're headed. All right, so we're going to go talk to Robin. You got the ultra lax and shake mix. You know this can get me fired, right? Here you go. We know how it goes. I want all the gory details. All right, so let's give this. Give it to Shet, the special shake. And give Susan a hair dryer. So I think this whole time. I think this whole time I've been doing a side quest though. I keep th I keep saying that. I can't tell if I'm doing a side quest or a main quest. But I'm assuming I got to go to the pool. Let's see. I won't leave you guys hanging. We're going to see what happens when I give this shake. Okay, let's do this. Here we are at the Hawkins pool. My friends are off to college and the father, the lucky ones. <laughs> Here's is this shit? I see you got my shake handed over. Okay, shit. Here you go. Wait, this tastes funny. I don't feel good. Shet, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Shet, dude, what's wrong? He's green. Oh, there's Billy over there. Ha ha ha. Ooh. Better not run around my pool runs. I think Billy's already um, gone through his transformation. Is that my hair dryer? Oh, thank you, honeys. Here's some money for pizza or games or whatever you do. I hope it's more than 10 bucks. Do we get more than 10 bucks? Yeah, baby. We're up to 24 bucks. Nice. Here we go. So this is my first Let's Play of Stranger Things 3, the game. Guys, check this game out if you guys are interested. This is a lot of fun. Even more fun if you're able to get a buddy and do a little co-op. This has been an absolute pleasure. Excellent game. Kudos to everybody uh if you guys have watched this and i want to say special thanks to the publishers real quick let me go ahead and give those guys a shout out but they've done such a great job with this game uh, i've been so impressed um it's been so fun i love i love the ambiance i love how um it ties the movie and the things that you've seen and how you're able to kind of visit the iconic spots so definitely check this game out special thanks to bonus xp though they've, they've been awesome publisher and developer you guys have been excellent that's going to be it for me guys thank you here on sunnyside tv if you guys like this video please comment down below let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content um every once in a while you guys are going to see stuff like this so definitely um check this out uh it's on the nintendo switch it's on uh also other platforms i know it's on steam i think and it's on um ed mass if you guys haven't checked that out check that out as well that is a launcher and uh and yeah but that's gonna be it for me guys thank you for watching this here on sunnyside tv have a good one peace